Let's go. 10 squats, 10 power one twos. You have 15 seconds. And remember, strong through your legs. Never showing signs of fatigue if you can help it, right? Stay controlled, stay powerful, be savage. Get going. Three, two, one. Come on. Dig into the heavy bag. You can start with the one twos first or the squats. It doesn't matter. 10 squats, 10 one twos. It's all you. Remember what I said about breathing. Don't hold your breath. Fifteen seconds. Come on, dig into the heavy bag with the one twos. Ten seconds. You're not tired yet. We're only at round number one, so I want you to work a little harder. Three, two, one. Awesome work, guys. Twenty seconds rest before we go into round number two. You're gonna push the heavy bag with your left side of your body, so a little bit of shoulder, but don't let your shoulder cave forward. Keep your shoulder strong, your shoulder blade strong. And then throw a two to the head and three to the body. I want that three body with some power. Push, left shoulder, body, head, head, body. Come on, pop, pop. Push, pop, pop. Push, pop, pop. Let's go. Push off your opponent. Make enough room so that you can rip that right hand to the jaw and that left hook to the body. Just create a little space. Bring the hands back up to a strong position. And don't let that shoulder cave in. 30 seconds. You have 20 seconds to go. Push, right hand, left hook to the body. Push, two, three, body. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, right to the end. Hear the bell. Two, one. Awesome. Conditioning. As again, I want that power one, three. So I want a stiff jab and dig in that left hook to the body. Now, similar to when you were pushing the bag with your shoulder, don't let your shoulder blade roll forward. Keep it tight as you throw that hook to the body. Are you ready? Throw that jab. Hook to the body, go. One, three, one, three, one, three. Yeah, dig in there. 40 seconds, only 30 left. Make some noise on the heavy bag, see your targets, and dig into the body. You know how much I love this left hook to the body. Dig. Strong shoulder blade. Don't let the shoulder roll forward. Keep going, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work, guys. Let's go, set number two. Push it, two to the head, three to the body. Work that rib cage, dig in there. Strong hands, strong stiff hands. You'll notice Canelo, when he throws a hook to the body, how stiff he keeps his left arm. Watch him, you'll see what I'm saying. Ready, go, push. Right hand, left hook to the body. Push, pop, pop. Push, pop, pop. Go. You see I'm moving. Small circles around the heavy bag. I'm just creating small angles around my opponent. So that's what I want you to do. Create small angles. Right hand, left hook to the body. Thirty seconds. Dig into the body. Strong. It's a very short but controlled right hand. You're making just enough space to get in there. Hands come back in position. Ten seconds, crew. Dig into that bad boy. Don't slow down yet. I told you this is savage heavy bag workout. Come on, son. Dig in. Two, one. Conditioning. That's right. 20 seconds rest. You can recover in 20 seconds. You know the deal. One, three to the body. Set it up with a strong jab. 
You don't have to step if your range is good. All right, come on. One, three, power. Let's go. Dig in there. Strong shoulder blade, strong hands. Bring that right shoulder back when you throw that hook to the body. If you're self-paw, bring the left shoulder back when you throw that right hand to the body. 10 seconds. Dig. Come on. Set up the jab, dig through. Let's go, set number three. Your final set of this round. Again, push. You know the deal. Two, three to the body, but now we add in the right hand. So it's a body push, two, three to the body, and finish again with the right hand. If you're a little more advanced, step back and throw the right second right hand. So it's a two, three body, step back, throw a two, or you can stay inside. All right, let's go. Two, pop, pop, push, pop, 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 push. Remember, breathe every punch. Ladies, I say guys, but you know I'm, I'm I'm feeling you too. Get in there and make noise. It's all good. You're boxing. This is it's it can be loud. It's explosive. It's the best sport in the world. So make sure you know you breathe with every movement when you're throwing punches. Less than 20 seconds from here. Come on. Push. Two, three, two. Push. Two, three, body two. Push. Keep your tempo, stay strong, 10 seconds. Own this session, be savage on the heavy bag. Three, two, one. Awesome, very good guys. So again, your final one here is a power one three body. If you wanna throw a double jab here and then hook to the body, of course you can do that. You can throw a one, two, three to the body as long as it's power and you really focus on landing that one, three. All right, let's go. Own it. Boom, 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 right? So you can mix it up a little bit, of course. 30 seconds. Show me your power. You're not tired, come on, there's more in the tank. Show me your power, dig in. Shoulder blade tight, through the target. Through the target, then bring it back. Eight, seven, six, keep going. Five, hear the bell. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. Loving what you guys are doing. We're working a one, two, one, two, everyone knows that one, and a block right three, and a block left two, all right? First up. One, two, one, two, max, go. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, straight to the head. Break down the guard. Go through the guard. So I want you to rip that last right hand. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, right through. Halfway. Break the guard down. Ten seconds, break it down. Come on, you guys. Three, two, one. Block right, throw a left hook. Block left, throw a cross or a right hand. Go. Change direction a little bit. Keep your chin down, it's down your legs. Now see, I'm throwing a four here, but again, you can throw a two. You can throw that four to the body, to the head. Again, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing, right? Let's go again, one, two, one, two. 
non stop. Go. Again, think about breaking your opponent down. You're not letting them see you get tired. Right now, you can also think of using your offense as defense. You're punching continuously to keep them away from you, pushing them or force them into a defensive position as you go to work. Over halfway, come on. Fifteen seconds. Shoulders are lit here, your lats, your biceps. Sometimes you can almost taste your lungs, you're so gassed, but that's the beauty of this type of work. 30 seconds. Block right three, block left two. So again, cross or hooks, whatever you want. Even when you throw that three across, it can be a body shot. A shot to the head, change it up. You maybe throw a double hook when you throw that block. Have fun with it. Now you start to settle into your workout. You start to feel really good and tired, but that's solid. Your body's warm. You're ready to go at a maximal pace. Hard as you can, one, two, one, two, go. As hard as you can, it's your last one before your next round. As hard as you can, come on. You can work outside or inside, I prefer outside. You get a little more stim out of this. Definitely more difficult. Most people tend to stay close because it's easier. So stay in that nice, Long range into that one, two, one, two. Halfway. Five seconds. All right, let's do it. Last 30 seconds with your block counter, block counter, come on. Almost there, five seconds, and we're gonna tear it up for your next round. With this one, you're gonna step left, so you're one minute pieces, you step left, three body, cross, step right, cross, hook, all right? Step left, three body, two, step right, two, three, all right? So you're working a three and a two in different variations, non-stop. Now this one, I want you to dig into the bag with power shots. Accuracy. Power. No choppy steps. Less than 30, 20 seconds. No choppy steps. Power, you're breathing solid. 10 seconds, a little less. Triple jab, 30 seconds. Now. Triple jab, you can work different angles. Obviously you can dip, throw that bad boy.
You can throw a moving to the left, throw a moving to the right, body, head, head, body. You can throw a little shovel jab. If you're trying to pop the chin up. Change it. Change it up. The jab is a serious weapon, so with every coach, every boxing coach, they want you to always establish a solid jab because it is a weapon, all right? So think of it like that. Now back into your one minute piece. Step left, three body, two. Step right, two, three. Power, go. Your opponent's on the ropes and you're making them pay. Make them pay. Finish the fight. Less than 30. When you're pushing to the right, you push off the left foot, and then when you're pushing to the left, you push off the right foot. 10 seconds. Nice work, crew. Come on, push to the end. Beautiful, let's go. Give me that triple jab once again. Triple jab, one, one, one. Triple jab. Now again, you'll hear, diff hear different people comment where it should be all the way back or halfway. It depends, you can throw it the jab a million different ways. Depends on what your intentions are. If it's a stiff jab, you throw it full range. All right, so mix it up, it's okay. Same, one minute, hard as you can, last set of these, go. Rib cage, head. That's where I start to get gassed a little bit. You guys inspired me to push through this workout, it was a harder one than normal. They're all hard, but today was especially hard. It's all good though. We do what we gotta do, always. 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds, push hard. Come on, right to the end, you know the deal. Once you start, you finish. Five seconds. Let's go, 30 second piece. Show me that triple jab. Mix it up, move around. Keep that right hand up, stay on your legs. Change direction. Five seconds. Round number five, good work guys, we're almost there. So here's a double right hand, two to the body, then two to the head, and then it's just movements after that. We are almost home, all right? First up, body, head, right hand, nonstop. These are all power. Put some dents in that heavy bag. Give me some range on these, you're getting in. Punishing the body and then punishing the head. Two, 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 full out. Good hip rotation, good trunk rotation, and still maintaining control. 30 seconds. It's one of my favorite combos, a two to the body, two to the head, because it is bad intentions.
Use your abs when your shoulders get tired. If you think about it, you'll get really efficient at that. See, I start to get tired, but then I use my core to help increase my velocity. All right, movement, 30 seconds. Change direction. Play around with the bag a little bit. That's all it is, play around. You're sizing up your opponent. Working from the outside. Five seconds, you'll see often when I move, I stick my jab out. I always think about just understanding range. How far is the heavy bag? How far is my opponent? Okay? One minute. Two body, two head. Let her rip. Keep pushing, crew. Come on, I want you to go right to the end with this combo. Yes, your shoulders and everything will get tired, but train it to be stronger, to gain more endurance. That's the idea. Learn to pull the trigger. Pop, pop. Pull the trigger, reload. Pull the trigger, reload. Pull the trigger, reload. Whip, return. 15 seconds. Three, two, one. Movement, 30 seconds. You're thinking of different scenarios and just having fun. That's all it is. Get ready. One minute, two body, two head, last set. Maximum effort, get it. On that body shot, right for the solar plexus, at the bottom of that rib cage, aim for that. You can hear I'm saying more in one place. Working on hip drive through the floor. And accuracy. When you're in one spot, you should be much more accurate. Thirty seconds. This is your last hard round, guys. This is it. So everything you have now for the last twenty seconds. This is your last hard round. Everything you have for the last fifteen seconds. Come on, you see I'm starting to get tired too. I'm looking at the clock, I'm tired, but I'm gonna push, drive, more, a little faster, a little harder. Four, three, two, one, movement, 30 seconds. Good job, guys. Move around. Know that you crushed this workout and this is it. get to recharge after this. Four, three, two, one. Time. Done. Beautiful work, crew. Thank you. Awesome. Here we go. Round number three. With this one, we're working the step jab. So we're now still working on the left side. Step in with the jab. You're trying to close the distance. Your step is not too far you're trying to close up say six to eight inches with it which is still you know enough distance so step in throw your jabs non-stop let's go let's go boom 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 keep that tempo keep the right hand up small step you're pushing off that back foot 
slight rotation with the right shoulder as you snap the jab out opposite for southpaw. Work the heavy bag. Get in there. Work the heavy bag. Left to right, right to left. How good is your jab? Right? Can I see it coming? Are you showing me signs that it's releasing? That's what I'm looking at. Are you dropping it before you throw it? Are you lifting your chin before you throw it? Don't show me signs. 10 seconds. Just snap it out there and step. Three. All right, guys, awesome work. Of course, coming up for your conditioning is five split squats and five times two, three, twos. That's important. Get the five split squats in. Make sure you get those five, two, three, twos, as many as you can get in these 40 seconds. All right, five split squats, five by two, three, two. Let's go. Split squat, five. Back into position, two, three, two, two, three, two, two, three, two, two, three, two. Two, three, two. Two, three, two, five split squats. One, two, three, four, five. Back into position. Go. Two, three, two, 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 two, three, two. and go. Another 20 seconds. Again, you're just teaching yourself to be a little more reactive with your legs and just punching out the heavy bag after fatiguing your legs a little bit, like we always do. Four, three, keep going. Hear the bell. Two, one, let's go. So again, here for set number two, instead of using your jab to step, you're not gonna step with the right hand. So you're just gonna step and throw across from the outside in and change direction. So you are now stepping with the two or the cross in three, two, one, let's go. Get in with that right hand, get out. Now, when I was an amateur, I always had the left hand down, right, for a little bit of the fight. That's just where I was comfortable. I'm always going to bring it back up because I don't want to teach you guys bad habits, but that's where I was most comfortable, was sneaky with that jab, throw a lot of up shoots and quick jabs from that hanging position. I mean, Roy Jones was my, my hero growing up watching fighting. You know, he hung that arm a lot, 30 seconds, so... When I fought, I was always hanging that arm down to catch people off guard. 20 seconds. Didn't always work, though. 15 seconds. Get in there. Strong jab. Speed. Don't let me see anything drop while you kick it in there. Come on. Don't show me signs. Snap it in there. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. You know your conditioning drill coming up. Five split lunges, and of course, five by two, three, twos. We're rolling through it, guys. Hope you're enjoying this session once again. You know, I love putting these together. Lots of creativity and, of course, effective sessions for you. Come on, let's go. You know the deal. Five split squats. Go. Three, four, five, two, three, two. One, two, three. Four, split lunges, go. Punches, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, let's go. Dig in, don't hold back. Don't hold back. Come on. Let's go a little longer for this set. Come on, give me a few more. Keep going. Hear the bell. Don't stop until you hear the bell. Time. Awesome work, guys. And set number three of this round, your final set, you're going to step with a jab cross. We'll step with a one-two. You get in with a one-two, and then just a small step out and change direction slightly as you come out. You never want to take more than one step back when you're boxing, straight back when you're boxing. Small angle change. Get in with a one-two, get out. There you go. Small steps, guys. You don't need to have huge steps. Just get in, get out. 
Push off that front toe to come out. Push off the back foot to get in. Keep your chin down, hands come back to the chin every time. Protect yourself as you're coming out. You're still vulnerable there. Come on. You got this, get in there, use your legs. Effort, control, a little more footwork. 15 seconds, keep your chin down. Get that right hand in there, straight down the pipe. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work, guys. Love it. Your last set of conditioning. Five split lunges. Five by two, three, twos. All right? This is your last one before we move on to our next round. Again, get it. Show me some speed on these, speed and control. That's what boxing is, right? Get those punches in. See your target, split lunge, come on. Yeah, get those punches in there, sting the bag, come on. Sting the bag. Strong lunges. Sting the bag. Lunges. Come on, guys. Get in there. Control your torso. Don't let your torso come forward. Use your core for that. Strong glutes. Come on. Awesome job, guys. All right. Check this out. You have a freestyle round for two minutes. Remember, I constantly tell you guys for a reason. It's a championship round of the championship fight. You're going to mentally prepare yourself or put yourself in that scenario and freestyle the hardest you possibly can with the most skill and accuracy and precision for these next two minutes. Freestyle on the outside or inside, wherever you want. Let's go. Championship round of the championship fight. You've worked hard to get here. Be savage on the heavy bag for session number one. Come on. You need to win this round. There is no way you're tired. Your distance is good. Your power is good. Your resilience is epic. You deserve to be here. You deserve to dig in and win this round and therefore the fight. Come on, guys. Never give in to fatigue, mental before physical. Dig into the body, work the head, break your opponent down. One minute. Work inside, stay inside and work. Small angle changes. Come on, guys. Faster hands. Defense. Small angle changes, change your levels, small shifts, stay close to the bag because you don't want to lose contact with your opponent because you're working, you're winning this fight. You worked to get here. Come on, guys. Power shots. Work some power. More power. Speed and power. Four, three, two, one, rest. So here is a double right hand. Two to the body, then two to the head. And then it's just movements after that. We are almost home, all right? First up, body, head, right hand. Non-stop. These are all power. Put some dents in that heavy bag. Give me some range on these. You're getting in. Punishing the body and then punishing the head. Two, 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 
two, full out. Good hip rotation, good trunk rotation, and still maintaining control. 30 seconds. It's one of my favorite combos, a two to the body, two to the head, because it is bad intentions. Use your abs when your shoulders get tired. If you think about it, you'll get really efficient at that. See, I start to get tired, but then I use my core to help increase my velocity. All right, movement, 30 seconds. Change direction. Play around with the bag a little bit. That's all it is. Play around. You're sizing up your opponent. Working from the outside. Five seconds. You'll see often when I move, I stick my jab out. I always think about just understanding range. How far is the heavy bag? How far is my opponent? Okay? One minute, two body, two head, let her rip. Keep pushing crew, come on, I want you to go right to the end with this combo. Yes, your shoulders and everything will get tired, but train it to be stronger, to gain more endurance, that's the idea. Learn to pull the trigger. Pop, pop. Pull the trigger, reload. Pull the trigger, reload. Pull the trigger, reload. Whip, return. 15 seconds. Three. Two, one, movement, 30 seconds. You're thinking of different scenarios and just having fun. That's all it is. Get ready. One minute, two body, two head. Last set. Maximum effort. Get it. On that body shot, right for the solar plexus. At the bottom of that rib cage. Aim for that. You can hear I'm saying more in one place. Working on hip drive through the floor. And accuracy, when you're in one spot, you should be much more accurate. Thirty seconds. This is your last hard round, guys. This is it. So everything you have now for the last twenty seconds. This is your last hard round. Everything you have for the last fifteen seconds. Come on, you see I'm starting to get tired too. I'm looking at the clock, I'm tired, but I'm gonna push, drive, more, a little faster, a little harder. Four, three, two, one, movement, 30 seconds. Good job, guys. Move around. Know that you crushed this workout and this is it. You get to recharge after this. Four, three, two, one. Time. Done. Done. Beautiful work, crew. Here we go. This is your final round of this Savage workout. Listen to what I'm telling you. Walk up to your heavy bag. Stay there. You want to listen to, to what I'm going to tell you quickly so you can react and go to work for your last piece of this workout. It's a final round. It's conditioning. We're putting your conditioning exercise together 
to crush it out. Are you ready? Get ready. You're going to do squats first in a boxing position. 10, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hands up. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Squat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Come on. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, squat, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, hands up, 8, 9, 10, bag, go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, one more, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Punches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome job. All right, let's go. One, three to the body. One, three to the body is coming next. There is no rest. Jab, hook body, go. One, three body. 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 One, dig. One, dig. Keep going. Let's go. One, dig. One, Dig, hold that. Let's go. Keep that tempo. Step on the jab, power. Step on the jab, body. All right, guys, coming up. Five split lunges, five, two, three, twos. And three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, two, three, two, two, three, two, two, three, two, two, three, two. Two, three, two, split lunge. Come on, keep that pace. We are almost there. Come on, get those two, three, twos in. Two, three, two, two, three, two. Stay with me. Five split lunges. Two, three, four, five. Let's go. Two, three, two, two, three, two, two, three, two, two, three, two, two, three, two. And split lunges. Not nah, just joking. All right, coming up. What you're going to do is a four punch, three or four punch freestyle combination and give me a half circle of footwork around to the other side of the bag. This is freestyle. Get ready. Let's go. Start here. Four punch combination. Move around. Four punch combination. Half circle around the bag. Four punch combination. Half circle around the bag. Non-stop. Four punch combo. Half circle around the bag. Dig in, guys. I want power and speed combined to get the most out of this. This is your last exercise, last set. Four punches, move around the bag. Push off your left foot to move right, your right foot to move left. We're almost there, crew. We're almost there. Come on, dig in for me. Let's go. Dig. Move around the bag. Use whatever space you have. I'm just using half the heavy bag. Come on, guys. Couple more combos. Four punch combo. Move. Come on. Push. Give me a couple more combos. Yeah. Love it. Awesome work, guys. You guys did amazing. That's your first Savage Heavy Bag workout. Stay tuned for more workouts just like this one come up on the Nate Bauer Fitness YouTube channel. As always, thanks for watching. And of course, guys, hit that sub button. Good work, crew. Peace. Shot through the heart and pray on my downfall. But Yancey prevailed on my outlaw. Stand on top of the table like John Wall. Got the cross on my chest.